Hello YouTube, welcome back to another war video. So this is going to show the two fights that I do in War 12 and then the season rewards in the same video just because it makes sense to put them together. So you're going to see here the team, you would have seen it from the thumbnail anyway, of uh, Kitty Pride, Odin and Tigra. No, I am not using Kitty Pride. Do not get that perception in your head. She is not being used. Um, potentially, and originally we were looking at me doing Path 4 in Section 1, but then it made sense for somebody else to go there because they had like a stronger version of Iceman, uh, as you'll see their YouTube video, probably even before this one actually. Uh, they're a much bigger YouTuber than myself, and yes, MP Blaze has destroyed almost everything with Iceman this season, so you'll get to see that fun in against the Noon 2. So, here we have an Adam Warlock and a Gore. So I'm going to be using Tigra for both of these champions. And yeah, Adam doesn't go as well as what the duels in the planning had gone for. Like I did like two or three duels. Um, I was trying to make sure. So the basic game plan going into this was to parry and then just do some normal combos, get him to special one, do the Tiger trick in the special one and kind of win the fight that way. Um, I have the Odin pre-fights on. So what I also should have done now, looking back at this retrospectively, is probably put an Invuln on rather than the Power Start 1, as well as having the Odin pre-fights, because you're going to see my power just kind of goes crazy. Um, but it's still it's still a pretty fun fight to watch. Um, it cost me a little bit in terms of items after, uh, but yeah, it's fine. So eventually, I do normally skip this bit, but because I only have two fights, you can kind of see me boosting hear my thought process before I even go into the fight so yes the plan was to parry and do combos do not let him hit my block and go unblockable was all I kept telling myself so I missed the parry <laughs> he goes unblockable oh this game man how did I miss the parry but yes so we had to throw that special wall two off very quickly and here I'm going to try and do the tiger trick you see, I just time it slightly wrong compared to the spacing, and now we're in a little bit of a situation. So I need him, in my opinion, to throw the special one, and I'm gonna wait. Throws it again. I'm gonna let this bit hit now, so you see I can actually do it. Just so everyone can see it, I can actually do that. I just fluffed up the spacing for some reason on that one. But now I throw the special three, get all of my senses back up, let him throw some more special ones, and we're gonna go through. Now, most people will have seen that the new map is now out for Alliance War, so that should be very interesting. By the sounds of things and what people have been saying, the PA like fights that I'm doing kind of now have, have Force of Will on that on now, so they're kind of non-Tigra fights, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. But yes, Adam did go down. It, did end up being quite an easy solo in the end apart from taking a few hits to the face and now two fights in a war costing me like what is it like 90 80k 90k like loyalty but now we've got this gore here on the uh, stand up on the urban protection knockdown node so again just the same sort of plan of do beta heavy get a medium from it if i have to get a few combos like this landing intercept it's fine one more heavy attack into the special two, and Gore is dead. So in terms of my season, I did die just the once in the very first war of the season, I believe it was, uh, with Shuri versus the Wong on P9. But we ended up losing to New Nation. Their battle group two managed to donut us. I think they got quite a few between that battle group. So shout out to Swadia and the guys. They did a very, very good job. And Noon ended up beating us 5-2. to two. You can see here that we do end up securing top 10. Now, this is the time just after the season, but then the rewards came out very quickly. No dockings or anything happened, which may become a video some other time. Um, but these are the top 10 rewards. You can see this is going to leave me just shy of a 7-star. But I will be able to get the 7-star, and I do open the 7-star in this video based from opening all the other 6-stars. So here I'm picking a tech nexus and a skill one. I was um and over two tech, but then I decided to um, to go for the skill because I kind of, I think the main champions that I'm hunting for now in terms of skill is probably crossbones because I don't have him at all yet. 
So I could really do with him and him, and I'm just trying to skip through this and fast forward it because nobody wants to see us picking all of these different quarter selectors. So I have a look quickly here now at how many featured. I, I can open, I can see I have 50k shards. So I'm going to run to the Battleground store and grab another 10k six star shards just to make it uh, 60k so I can open four featured from this one crystal opening. So you can see I do that there, get that done. And now we're going to go back to the featured. So, ideal pull, like realistically, an Adam dupe would be nice, a Silk dupe would be nice. But the only champion that I'm actually now actively hunting from this featured is Lady Deathstrike. She just seems to be dodging my account between the arena grinds where I missed and whatever else. I just can't seem to get her. So... Sadly, the first one is Loki. Not great. Not great at all. But it is what it is. Hopefully, you can only get better from here. Next up, we open the next one. And again, Silk, Adam, Lady Deathstrike. They're the ones I'm looking for. I can see, keep seeing Silk popping up and around. But no, sadly, there I get Punisher 2099. Uh, yeah, it's just... More seven star shards, I guess. That's the way I need to see it right now. I imagine once I get Lady Deathstrike, I probably just go back to opening basics for a while, to be honest. But we'll see. Next up is Old Man Logan. <laughs> what a great season reward. Oh, jeepers. I don't even know what to say. If this was like an initial feature crystal, I'd be pissed. And then I get Mangog. If that Mangog had one extra star, I'd be pretty happy. I would be pretty happy with that. But he doesn't. So right now it's basically, apart from seven star shards, kind of useless to me. He's just basically just a little bit of arena fodder. Which I am doing quite a lot of at the moment to try and get my roster, especially my six star kind of catching up and me happy with it. I'm midway through the Viv arena, actually, as I'm recording this, so. This is kind of who I'm opening the tech crystal fire. was a bit crazy and decided to open it anyway. I know, ooh, crazy. Um, I'm going to pick Howard here, just because I used him in war this season, and yeah, he did great. Big up to Howard the Duck. He bossed the fights that he was given, and I cannot moan about him doing that. So, open the skill, and no crossbones. No... No cork dupe, no Atuma sigs, no blade sigs. So I'll take the max hit crystal, why not? I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna open the seven star here quickly. Uh, from here, I'm looking for Chavez, Sunspot, Bishop, Mangog. Maybe a Titania dupe, because she's now ranked two. Uh, she's now ranked two. So we're gonna open this. Lots of good options coming around. Lots of good options. And we end up duping OG Hulk. So he'll probably be the next rank two seven star science champion that I do. Now he's duped. But that is it, I'm afraid, for this season from me. Again, thank you very much to all the support of everyone for the whole way through the season. I massively appreciate you. If you have enjoyed it, please like, please comment on here. It obviously helps me out. And obviously subscribe for more videos and live streams that I'm going to be doing. Thank you very much. Hope you had some great season rewards and I will see you soon.